Sure, I had other things going on. Big things, actually, but... It's my job to prioritize my patient, and that's exactly what I did. I wasn't focused on anything or anyone other than my patient. Let's talk about this embolectomy. Dr. Yang wanted to do the heart surgery first. You want to work on Travis's leg. Yes. Why? Well, his foot was turning gray, which is an indication that the limb is starting to die. And I wanted to restore blood flow. Once a limb turns black, there's nothing we can do. Uh, according to Dr. Yang's testimony, she wanted to go first because the infection had moved to Travis's heart, throwing out emboli or clots all over his body. And she knew that the heart would keep throwing out clots until it was repaired. Do you so cook? A little. Okay, let's say you're cooking and you start a grease fire in your kitchen. And then it spreads to your curtains. What do you do? Do you put out the grease fire or do you extinguish the curtains? Which disaster do you tackle first? If I hadn't treated the emboli when I did, Travis would have lost his leg for sure. I was just picking which disaster to tackle first. I cannot believe you're picking this fight right now. I'm not trying to pick a fight. I'm trying to tell you how I feel. Okay, well, I feel like crap too, okay? It wasn't just your kid. I know. I know that. Look, we'll just, we'll just, we, look, we don't have to, we don't have to try again right away, all right? We can wait a while before we try again. No, we, no, no, you're missing the point. What point? I can't take another loss, Callie. I can't handle it. I can't, I can't think about this right now. It's just, it's too hard. It's just too hard. What, what are you saying? Now you don't want another baby? Answer me. I don't know. I have to go check on my patient. Tell her to get out. Travis. I don't want her here. Kick her out with now. God knows I can't do it by myself. So get her the hell out of here. What's wrong with you? Why aren't you doing anything? Okay, that's enough. Whitney? Go to the family lounge and get a snack. We need a minute, okay? Don't you dare take this out on her. You are hurt and angry and you have every right to feel those things, but Whitney has nothing to do with that. You, you, you want to take your crap out on somebody, you take it out on me, all right? I can handle it. You, you, you need somebody to blame, then blame me. Go on, yell all you want. This never should have happened to you. And if there were any way that I could magically change things, believe me, I would. I wish there was something I could do. I wish I could fix this. I tried. I tried so hard. I'm so sorry, Travis. I'm so, so sorry. Yes, I apologized. <laughs>